Right guys, how's it going? So uh, another day, another petrol station audit. We're at uh, South Moulton today, um, at a petrol station called Rogers Garage. Um, it's just around the corner from the South Moulton Police Station. It's um, it's Friday today. Don't know what date. Don't even know what day it is half the time, but um, sometime towards the end of June. <clears throat> anyway. South Moulton, it's in the middle of Devon, uh, it's between Barnstable and Tiverton, sort of in mid Devon. Petrol station, diesel's like 199.9 by the look of it here, so two quid. Got uh, 100 litres for, in jerry cans, that's 200 quid, and I've got mm, about three quarters of an empty tank, so that's probably going to be about another 80. So I'm expecting it to be about two. 280 300 quid and i've come prepared with her majesty's money so um if you're new to my channel um <clears throat> this is um an exercise of rights really it's also a little bit profitable too if you can source the coins below face value it makes the fuel a bit cheaper and at soaring petrol prices um with soaring petrol prices you know any kind of um discount or reduction in, and efficiency um, is to be, um, you know, is to be welcomed. So um, yeah, these coins, um, they're Royal Mint coins. They're legal tender in the United Kingdom, throughout the United Kingdom for payment, um, according to the Queen and the legislation. Um, shops and banks don't have to accept any form of money whatsoever. Um, but when it's a debt, it's different. Um, quite interesting statement I found on the Royal Mint on the um, Bank of England website the other day, it was something like um, that legal tender is um, for payment. If you owe someone some money and you make full payment to them in legal tender, it's a good defence if they if you're prosecuted for non-payment. So quite different to what Black Belt Barrister said. Um, if you recall, he said that legal tender is only any good as a payment into court as a defence um, when somebody's going to prosecute you for not paying if you've already paid into court then, it, then it's a defence. I'm not saying he's wrong about that he's probably right about that but according to the Bank of England website if you've made full payment in legal tender um, you can't then it's a good defence if you are then sued um, which is taken to court um, in law it said yeah, so that means that you don't have to pay into court. You could have settled the um, debt, uh, the, the money that was owed, um, outside of court. And that forms a good defence if you are taken to court. Quite different to having to pay it into court. But I'm sure both cases are true. <clears throat> anyway, here we go then. Going to fill up and see how it goes. So just a bit further to this... Um, I was searching uh, Google paper £20 note deadline. It's also the £50 note deadline. And it takes you to uh, Bank of England uh, website, which says now that there's 100 days left to use your paper 20 and £50 banknotes. Okay. Now, you should be worried about this, people. If, if you've got loads of um, notes that are stashed under the bed or whatever... Um, and obviously, you know, for cash jobs or whatever, you know, there's a lot of builders, plumbers, electricians, tradesmen, people, you know, who want privacy, kind of store their money at home. Uh, it's a bad idea anyway, because it's going to get ravaged by inflation. But it's at the end of September, 30th of September, they're no longer going to be legal tender. They're going to withdraw the legal tender status of paper, £20 and £50 banknotes. <clears throat> Now, it's interesting that they can withdraw the legal tender status of those banknotes, but for some reason, they don't withdraw the legal tender status of the £100, the £50 and the £20 coins. They are still legal tender and listed on the Bank of Eng uh, the Royal Mint's website. So anyway, uh, this was a news release on the Bank of England website. Um, there you go, Bank of England. Um, but I read through all of that, it's quite interesting, but notes to editors, I assume that means notes to newspaper editors or news editors, 
okay um it gives you a link to um, images of notes and stuff like that but then it goes on to number three legal tender means that if a debtor pays in legal tender the exact amount they owe under the terms of a contract they have a good defense in law if they are subsequently sued for non-payment of the debt right that's what i was getting at that point there um so anyway back to the video Thank you very much. Hiya. Um, pump six, I think it is. Six, Yeah. That's okay. I was starting to panic. Three, eleven, forty-nine. Right. Where did it go? Oh, and jerry cans and things. What are they? That's hundreds, fifty. Have you got a scanner? I'll do it for you. Have you got a scanner? I'll do it for you. Yeah. Thank you. Gary. Huh? I need Gary. Gary? Yeah. I'm being past this massive minted coin I've never seen. This is my boss's confer, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm aware it's a legal tender. I'm not okay. stupid, but that's what my boss to say. Yeah, it's okay, you can take okay, it. Okay, do you want to serve this guy? I don't want to yeah. hold anyone up. Okay. Oh, then. £100. Pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Coins. A lot of people have never seen it. I've never seen one of those. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a hundred. Pound coin. That's fifty. <laughs> wow, they're twenty. Amazing, isn't it? No way. Yeah. Made of silver. Minted silver. Wow. Weighty, isn't it? Nice. Anything else? Yeah, can I some of roses, please? No. Now don't worry about it. It's alright. You've been busy. <laughs> I haven't even got a pot. Now don't worry. It's alright. Don't worry. It's alright. Right, now don't worry. I've got some minted coins. Don't know what to pay with minted coins. Is it a hundred pound coin, fifty pound coin, twenty pound coin? I have no idea. Well, I owe three fourteen forty nine. So that's one, two, two fifty, three ten, three fourteen, fifty. You can keep the penny. Do you know about it? Yeah, I've got it. Do you know about it? Yeah. How much is this for? Hundred pounds. That's a hundred quid. Yeah. Silver. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pure silver. Have you heard of it? Do you want me to get Google up? Google something? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to. Um, you have to stand it up. Just so, uh, just yeah, have to wait a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you use them often? Yeah, all the time. Really? Yeah. Where'd you get them? It's, um, all, all sorts of places. You should get them from the Royal Mint originally. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. No, that was my last problem. Oh, what's this guy around my head? You can do one, mate. I'm sorry, I, I can't accept them. Sorry? I cannot accept them. Why is that? Because the banks won't accept them. So they are, although they're legal tender, the banks won't accept them as as general circulation, circulatory to oh, How do you know that? Because I've just done uh, it. Well, it doesn't say uh, they won't uh, accept well, the bank in it, so just bear with me. Is that your that purple car out right there? It's not yeah. purple, it's all well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> red, it's your yeah. Car, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll come you out you the bank with you if you like. Yeah, yeah. But can Shall you we? park? Yeah. I've got one of your coins here. No, I've got some of the packaging, look. Are you actually on the phone to them now? Yeah. All oh, right. Speaking. Yeah. Is it your garage? Is it? Yeah. Is your name Roger? No. Oh.
towards Roger's garage. Um, the thing is, the bank isn't actually the authority on it. Ready? Three, five. One down, one down, one down. Yeah, Pedestri pedestrians have right away. Oh, safety there, mate. <laughs> Oh, Nigel, um, if I was to present this coin to you, would you accept that to pay into my bank? No. That's what I thought. So it's not... So it's well, well, I don't even know what it tells you. Apparently it's, uh, a, mint, thing, it's it? a commemorative minted coin, yeah. Yeah, so post office would... I don't know whether the actual local bar would tell. Certainly the main post office would probably take it. Yeah, but then... It's not, it's not classed as a like, legal currency, no. No, no. Okay. Alright, All right, thank you. Right. Do you want to go to the post office? Pardon? No. <coughs> I've got um, a contact in the post office. Oh, yeah. It's all very well paying it into the post office, but whether it gets transferred across to the bank is a different thing. He's not actually correct, it is legal it's legal tender. He's a man in the bank, of course he's going to be correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, he's a man in the bank, you think he's correct? Exactly. He didn't even know what it was to start with. Well, we know, because no one ever sees this, it's not in general circulation. So if, he, so if he knows what he's talking about, he's never seen it before, and yet it's one of the coins listed on the Royal Mint. Yeah, but it's not legal, it's not circulated. Ah, right, Catherine, um, could, you help, could you help me out here, please? Oh, I'll put you on loud speed for a minute. Yeah. Hang on a sec. Um, are, are you there? Oh. I'm trying to get you on loud speaker. I'm trying to get out the wind. Ah, yeah, you're on loud speaker now. Um, I've got a customer. I've got a customer who's just given me several um, minted commemorative coins. Oh, nice. Yeah, th this is like uh, apparently worth a hundred pound coins. Now, oh. do you, are you aware of these? It's not something no. you see every day, is it? Uh, I mean, I know, well, put it this way, I know that um, they are worth the value, that, the, the, the face value of them. Yes. So you haven't lost money, but how you actually redeem those, I don't know. No, that... I don't think I can take them at the post office. You can't take them either. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. But Even uh, if you did, I wouldn't be able to transfer... I wouldn't it's go not to, to say that you would have lost money, but um, you would have to redeem them in another way. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank Is you. Okay? Yeah. Thanks. And that's my understanding anyway. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. What do you want to do? Go, go around the police station if you like. I'll send. No, mate. I want you to pay in a, in a proper and orderly manner. With bank card. No, I'm not paying with bank card. Why not? You've well, got I, my fuel. No, no, it's not my fuel actually now. No, it's not your fuel until you pay for it. Uh, that's not correct. That is correct, mate. No, nah, it's um, about ascertainment of goods. Yeah, it becomes no. title to the goods becomes no. mine as it's transferred from the pump into my vehicle. Crap, bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Right, so unless you don't, unless you don't pay, and you're going to drive off my fork without pay. paying. Uh, the lady told you, the and you're all on camera, so. Well, she told you that you've got the money. I haven't got the money. It's not any, no legal. If you bring the receipt out, that'd be great. I'll give you five minutes. All right, guys. So, yeah, filled up. £314.49. Daylight robbery, isn't it? Proper, proper daylight robbery. Oh, here he comes. Let's see what he's got to say for himself. Hello. Hi. 
Are you, so are you refusing to pay uh, by any other means? By any other means, that's my means of payment. Pardon? That is my means of payment. Right, so I'm phoning the police then. Yeah, okay. okay, I'll wait here, that's okay. fine. Well, there you go. So, <clears throat> yeah, £314.49p. <clears throat> I gave him the coins, he weren't very happy. Um, so we went up the bank, the bank um, who were the experts said they hadn't seen that coin before and didn't know anything about it. So he rang the post office and the post office confirmed that they are genuine coins and that it is worth the face value. It has got a face value of a hundred pounds and he's not out of pocket. It's just, she didn't know how, about, how he goes about redeeming them. I don't know why you need to redeem it. It's not a check, is it? A cheque you need to redeem, but cash has inherently got the value in it, hasn't it? Especially cash that's made of silver. So, um, anyway, then he started getting a bit feisty. And um, getting slightly abusive, I felt. So I think that's the stage where I'm getting off of his property. So he can't block me in or anything silly. Um, and he says he's going to phone the police. Because I'm refusing to pay in any other way. And he wants me to pay by card. Anyway, we'll pick it up when some more action shows up. Hi there. Well, we'll be videoing this, okay? Because obviously it's sounding a bit legal to me. Are you threatening to phone Just the police? You know, uh, the police have been informed. Yeah. And they've got your registration number. Yeah. And they're on their way. Okay, I'll wait here then. Who's Gary? Boss. Oh, the boss. Yeah, I was looking for him. I was wondering if he's made his mind up about a receipt yet. No, he's waiting for the law. Really? Did he ring them? Genuinely? I've just been to the bank. They're not legal tender, bud. Oh, they are? No, they are. I've just been to the bank. I've been to Lloyd's Bank and asked the manager. Are you going? He rang the bank. only legal tender if somebody who wants to buy a commemorative coin at the price it's in. They're only worth an item five anyway. All right. Yeah, I've just been asking the bank. He rang the post office and the post office told him that they're genuine coins they worth what they are. He didn't like that one, sir. Well, no, he called it the bank. Hello there. Hiya. So I was wondering, have you sort of made your mind up about a receipt or anything? Pardon? Have you made your mind up about giving me a receipt? Just, you're not entitled to a receipt because you haven't paid for it. Uh, why did you video me, by the way? I beg, I beg pardon? Why did you video me? Why did I video you? Yeah. Why not? Because you're not allowed to. Are you videoing me? I am. Are you allowed to? Yes, I am, yeah. Why is that then? So why doesn't it work both ways? Because um, this is a commercial property and, uh, and... Where were you when I was videoing you then? On the pavement? Yeah. Am I allowed to video you on the pavement? No, you're not. No. What are you going to do with that video? Well, I don't know, yeah. So you run the police. Do you want me to wait for the police? Yeah. Okay. All right. But the post office told you, didn't she, that those coins were genuine and they no. were worth, worth face value? They're not um, worth any money at all. But the post office told you different, didn't she? Yeah, no, I've been to the bank. You put it on the loudspeaker and she told you, didn't she? Yes, she said that they are not legal tender and that we would not be able to transfer funds. You paid £95 for a coin that's worth £100 commemoratively. Yeah. And it is not. How do you know I paid 95 for it? That's what, that's that's what, what they're worth, I just told you that. Yeah, so I've just been to the bank and the bank manager there said that he's not legal tender, you'll only get your money back if you've got some other collector that wants to pay you the money for it. You can't go into a shop and just spend the money. Mm. That's no. the bank, not the post office. No. Well, £95 I thought was quite a lot really. I paid less than that. Anyway. <coughs> right. Okay, so... We're at the garage here, the police have turned up. <coughs> there, he's filming from over here. Zoom in a bit.
team, team McDonald's by the fit. Hi mate, how you doing? <laughs> Hello there. Hiya. Oh, we just have a look at your coins. They're not my coins. They're not your coins. No, they're your boss's coins, actually. Right. right. Who's your boss? <laughs> we're, we're, we're not being confrontational about this. No, 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 no. That's right. That's YouTube. cool. But I was we're wondering, who's, who's your boss? Firstly, obviously, you're filming us, so everything we're doing is being filmed in audio visual yeah. record as well. Thank you for pointing that out at the earliest opportunity. That's very good. Can you identify yourself, please? Yes, I'm PC 18134, based at Barnsville Police Station. 18134. 8134. 8134. And 8232 at Barnsville Police Station. Alright, nice to meet you guys. Thank you very much. Here to uphold everybody's rights. Yeah, of course. Um, would you be happy if we come and speak to you afterwards? Yeah, sure. I was just. You know, just you know, getting video evidence basically that yeah, I've left the correct payment the on the on the counter. Yeah, of course. And the answer to the question, who your boss is, is the Queen. Yeah. Whose coins are? Yeah, that's the person I swore the oath to. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Um, so your boss said those coins, the legal tender for payment throughout the United Kingdom. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Feel right. free to count them for your camera. Well, right? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um one two hundred there. That's the fifty. Um, then you got three twenties. That's three ten. Plus four one pound coins and a fifty, Sorry. and you can keep the change. All right, yeah. I'll right, wait that side. Yeah. Thank, thank you. <clears throat> Hiya. Alright, do excuse my filming, you know what it's like. That's okay. Don't film me, please. <laughs> right, well, so. We've had a discussion with them. Let me get the light right. Come on, you get, the get your best sides. Right, go on then. He's accepted payment. He's accepted payment? Yeah. That's great. Alright. How did, did you explain it to him? Well, can you explain it to the best of our knowledge? Yeah. Um, you know what the legislation is, don't you? You know what the rules are when they commemorate some coins. I do. I'm sure you've used them before. I do, yeah. Um, so you're probably more clued up on it even than I am. But I've had a ratified few by Sergeant to Inspector. Yeah. We're happy with the result of this. Yeah. That's it. He actually um, went to the bank and the bank said, well, um, oh, I've never seen them before. And he said, I wouldn't accept them. So he I goes, there you go. See, the bank are the experts. Yeah. So then, hang on, so then um, he phoned up the post office and the post office said, well, it is a genuine coin and it is got a face value of £100. It is worth £100. It's a genuine coin. It's just how you go about redeeming it. So he didn't like that answer and he was really furious and said, um, I want you to pay by bank card. Now, this is what my issue is, you know, like, why should we be forced to pay by bank card, right, when Her Majesty made, made the coinage? and says that those coins are legal tender for payment throughout the United Kingdom. And that when you try and use them, you have people like this chap wanting to phone the police and wanting to get all kind of aggressive about it. Um, Fortunately, you guys dealt with it really well. It's, right. yeah, I see what you're trying to say, and although you may be right in that it can be used in legal tender. Yeah. Sorry, it's awkward talking to you with the camera there. It's yeah, but I want to get your best side, you know what I mean? I'm having a conversation with YouTube instead. Yeah. Um, I would suggest that there are other ways to pay for it, provided that you can use it to pay yeah. for that. They don't have to accept it and then it becomes a civil matter. Yeah. I've not committed a criminal offence there. But it would make his life a lot easier if there are banks that aren't accepting it. You're just causing him difficulty by using to pay in that way. Well, 
I get your point. Perhaps it's the banks that are causing the difficulty by not yeah, accepting maybe them. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But it's something you have the power to do: is use currency that's more widely accepted, currency in general circulation. And right. But that would be my words of advice to you before we leave. But, um, okay. So, well, um, all the hundreds and. 50 pound and 20 pound coins that are all minted do you think people should just throw them away i'm not suggesting that at all well I mean, what do you think people should do with them then i, I think a lot of people see them as collector's items but i'm, I'm not going to speak on the reservations no. of other people i've just said yeah my bit. I'm, from an outside looking to this situation i think it would be easier for everyone had a different payment than used but i understand that you need content for your youtube channel no it's not actually about that i was doing this before um i even did a youtube thing okay. it's about rights you know, if legislation sets out the laws of the country about what we can do and what we can't do, and when you have a law that specifically says that those coins are legal tender for payment throughout the United Kingdom, yeah, it then I believe becomes a right. And when you're told that you can't do something that is your right to be able to do, I think you have to do it to be able to stand up for your rights. And that, that's why I do it. I understand that. Mm. Anyway, you guys have been really good. Thank you very much. All right. Um, he just wanted to let you know, all right, yeah, that you're not welcome here in this garage anymore. That's kind right, of him, so yeah. This is a one-off, all right? You've done what you've got to do, all right? So just, um, yeah, don't come back to this garage, don't try to pay with any coins. No. Him again, because he won't accept it. No, I appreciate that. Okay. So what about the receipt, though? I mean, obviously, we can do the receipt. For both of you, is that you've had to wait here now for a long time, and now you've been found for this garage, so it's just an inconvenience for you. It's not an inconvenience. This is work. Well, maybe it's not, then. Yeah, okay, if you see it that way, it's an inconvenience for him, though. In fact, as it goes, um, the kind of revenues I get from YouTube off of it yeah. uh, easily cover the cost of the fuel. So it's quite profitable. Sorry? The cost of coins as well, maybe. Well, I get the coins at a discount because okay. obviously the controversy over it. So therefore, I get it, that works out as in a way the fuel's at a discount. Right, okay. um, so overall, it works out quite profitable. But, but also, it's about standing up for your rights. And also, you know, like the police, sometimes the police um, don't behave within the rules. You guys have been great, right? You've been, been great. But I've been arrested. That, yeah. I've been arrested for this before yeah. and compensated for unlawful arrest. Yeah. yeah, so we ironed that one out. Yeah. And so, in a way, I feel that, you know, we're sorting people we called auditors, yeah? By standing up for our rights to be able to film in public or to be able to use cash, um, you know, we're making a difference, we're making change. You know, we're stopping police that are a bit rogue from going hands-on and dealing with us because they just don't like it when we're within the law and rules. But you guys have been great. Anyway, I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank appreciate you very much. That. What about the receipt then? Because he says I'm not welcome there. Yeah. But I could do with uh, a receipt. Do you want to do the genuine one to receipt? Well, yeah, because... Can get one? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, we'll bring your receipt over and um, then we'll head off. Are you from Barnstable, are you? Police station or South Mountain? All oh, right, I thought you'd come from South Moulton because it's only around the corner. Well, it took us such a long time to get here because we came down the link road. Uh, and you didn't have blues and twos on then? No, no. <laughs> Did you know what you were sort of like dealing with when um, on the way? We come to situations with an open mind. Yeah. Did you get told on the way that there's a guy trying to pay with commemorative coins and the garage owner's not happy? I'm not going to discuss what was up. I'm just wondering how the research yeah, went. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we'll we'll Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I will. I'm sure everybody was. Was you a handsome chap, aren't you? I mean, get a good look at you, eh? Look. <laughs> For the thumbnail. <laughs> but I'm sure everyone on YouTube's going to love you. <laughs> Oh look, here we have a random stranger. Hello, random stranger. What's going on then? Well, so have, you, have you paid for some fuel? Yes, I did, with silver. Silver? Silver. The genuine silver? Yeah, genuine silver, real silver. Some of them are well empty knocked up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so what did the builders say when you had a chat with the builders? They said they're going to have to let him go, aren't they? And I said, no, they're going over to arrest him right now. Hey. You watch. <laughs> And the you? guy in the shop, they both, the girl wants to take one home and the boy wants to take one home. What? I'm not sure which way around it is. What, they're going to sort of like spy them off of him? No, no, no. They said if you don't want them, we'll take them home. We're happy. Oh, yeah. They like them. They let me hold one. Yeah? Which one? Under the pound coin. Yeah. yeah. So now I know how to recognise them should anyone turn up with them in my petrol station. Yeah. So we're doing a special offer on gas at the moment. 
Yeah. So, do you accept the 25 pence coin? What you do, you stand there. You stand there for a while and you hold the nozzle in, yeah? Yeah. I bet your car's not full, by the way. You hold the nozzle in <laughs> for like 10 minutes and you go... So, you know, so £82.91, please. Okay. So, um, now you know this garage actually does accept these uh, those coins, and does that mean that uh, you, you might consider filling up at this petrol station? I could, yeah. So you actually saw it with your own eyes, didn't you, sir? I did. Although he did say to me, um, where's your mate gone? And I said, who's my mate? I said, that bloke over there in the BMW. <laughs> so The purple BMW, you call it purple. That's, machine. that's not purple, is it? No, it's mixed between um, red diesel. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mix between red, it's all the red diesel I've put in it. What's silver to start with? <laughs> Yeah, that was a good video. They were very nice policemen, weren't they? They were all right, yeah. They're getting ironed out, though, aren't they, to be fair? That's the, yeah. Because they had all the way from Barnstable here to, to find out if it was worth chasing you down or not. Yeah. And then, basically, they walked in the shop there. They looked at the coins. They walked outside. With the, I said to them, what, what are you going to do then? Are you going to arrest him? I said, and they said, I don't think we can. It seems like it's legal tender. Mm. So you actually spoke to them, did you, yeah, the yeah, police? Yeah. I said, no, they to hold the coins. They said, no, they're evidence. Evidence. <laughs> Evidence of payment. Yeah. That's what they are. I swapped them out some 10 piece. Mm. So, I wonder how they're getting on with the receipt. That'd be quite funny. I'd love to have seen his face when they were printing out the receipt. <clears throat> and your penny change. Did you ask for that? You could have sent it back. <laughs> nah, they can have that. I'd want to take the piss. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the receipt, I think. Yeah. He's got the receipt. It's funny how one of them always seems to take lead, isn't it? Mm. You alright? Thank you very much. Right, your receipt, okay? That's great, thank you. Great service. That's alright, no worries. If you you the funny thing was actually, was when I pulled up to fill up, there was a police officer who was filling up his car right next to me at the same time. Oh, really? I thought if he just hangs around, yeah. you know, it's great. I'd, well, I'll ring you in advance next time and then come along and fill it up for me. You can be there ready in attendance. <laughs> so what are you doing now? Your phone? Um, I don't know. What about you? Oh, obviously you're not allowed back in there. No, I won't be going back in there. Just leave him alone now. All yeah, right. to so calm this, down. Chaps is closed on this one now. It is. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting story though. Try not to aggravate anyone. Isn't that an no, interesting story though? No. It's just been, been, just been telling me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't you think it's your boss who's winding people up, the Queen? Going around making Queen. these coins, yeah, and then kind of like, you know, so that when people Queen spend them. them yeah, the Queen said that they're for payment throughout the United Kingdom. Well, the Queen said you can't spend them or that you can't. No, that you can spend them oh. for payment throughout the United Kingdom. It's not my role to give my opinion on the Queen. Would you spend them if you had some? I, I don't know. I've never had them. Well, you know they're taking them. Well, you know, I'd, I'd probably try and avoid the conflict. Yeah, but if you had like 20 out of home. I would ask beforehand. If you had 20 out of home, you know they take them. They'd be a good place to spend them. Take, if I know for sure they take them. Well, you do know, don't you? But he's not taking them. He's done well, it on a one-off. Yeah, yeah, but he's not. You're not him. You're allowed in there, aren't you? Yeah. That's yeah, only me who's banned. You're not. No, no, but, <laughs> but maybe well, in the future. Buy some, yeah, so if you want to use it in the future, then if you go into the garage before and just say, will you take this as payment? Yeah, yeah. I won't be going back no, in there again. Any issues, won't it? Yeah. I won't be going back in there no, again. Not that one. Any other Same. garage though, that you do go to? Well, some garages I go to and uh, I fill up and they accept them no trouble. Yeah. Asda in Biddeford's an example. I've been there right, three okay. times yeah. and every time they, um, they accept them, no problem. Yeah. So why should I go and find out? In fact, the law of the land says that of all things that um, they're required to, obliged to accept, it's legal tender. They don't have to accept debit cards and credit cards or anything else. It's just legal tender. Yeah, we don't ask whether oh, mind you, they've got signs on the bunch so they take cards yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, just out of courtesy, maybe just ask other garages in, like, before you fill up. Let's yeah. See, it just resolves any issues like this, isn't it? Alright. That wouldn't be very good. It wouldn't work very well, though, for my YouTube channel, would it? Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> Alright, well, right, right, guys, right. thanks very much, then. It's about the, it's about the views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cheers. And there they go. go. In the van. That's a good start, isn't it? Wait, wait, what's it?
<laughs> right. Uh, I'm very entertaining. Yeah. I better get home, I guess. Oh, I can go there. I'll be waiting for you. Maybe yeah. You for say, huh? Well, I've never seen you before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, random stranger. See you again, random stranger. See you later. Stranger. See you later.